All right, a little example of the program that I am working on. Um, I'm a new coder. I don't really know too much uh, about coding as far as uh, what I've learned so far. And uh, for C Sharp, that's been about a week. So just to give you an idea of how long I've been coding um, and what I've made so far, I uh, just wanted to show it off. So, uh, I made a memory reader. I believe that was the simplest thing to start with to try and learn more about the classes and how things work in uh, C Sharp. Um, and this is specifically written in C Sharp. Um, so, let's jump into it here. So, this program. Um, is my memory reader and what it does is it, uh, here I could select a process uh, that's running currently uh, any process and once I select that process it's, it sets it as the process to read from um, and it sets uh, all access so I can do whatever I want with it um, and here um, is the address that I'm reading from. So you would find an address using uh, a tool such as Cheat Engine um, or some memory viewer program. Uh, and I didn't implement anything for searching for memory yet. Um, I will later, that way you don't have to go uh, using a different program to find a specific address uh, when you already know kind of where to search uh, if you know what I mean so if you know what address to search in and you could search between so many bytes and find a specific value if that value is uh, returns a true statement then you can like do something with it but uh, I haven't done that yet uh, that's in the future um, but right now, um, you can use uh, Cheat Engine or something like that to find the base address uh, and enter it here. Of course, you have to do a little work for that. Um, the second um, area here is where you would enter the value in which you want to write to that address. So, uh, say for instance, I wanted to write um, I have Excel and I wanted to write in a specific area on a specific address uh, a value of 3. I could do that. Uh, or if I wanted to open a game and uh, change my life, I could enter a value there and I can do that. Uh, of course, there's a lot more pointers in most games, so you have to search pretty deep. Um, for those pointers uh, to actually change that value and always have that value. Um, as long as you have the pointer though, it's fine. It'll work all the time for the address. Um, then you have your offsets here and these uh, are the uh, different sections of bytes that you're looking at. Uh, or you can search uh, 20 bytes up and find that value. So whatever you put in these uh, boxes for offset values to add, they add to the original address. So if you're looking at uh, 00, uh, or 0 bc one a 46 here and you would just find the value BA. But if you added say uh, 20 or say you added a value of A then you would you would be let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 A would be equal to 8 uh, 9 should be equal to 8 10 should be equal to 3 11 should be equal or sorry it goes from 9 to A to B to C to D to E, so on and so forth. So whatever you ha you have to figure out which 
values we want to read and how to add those values um, to the current address to see where it will read. Now, if uh, in the future I'm probably going to add some type of like hex calculator so you can figure that all out. You don't have to go online, but I mean, that's pretty simple. To, there's so many that exist already, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, anyways, uh, you could add a total of five of these, and I'm going to stick with three for now. And you could read in 32-bit or 64-bit uh, processes. Um, the difference between the two is one's a long integer and one's a short integer. So you can't just read a 32-bit address in a 64-bit program. It just if it shows uh, a long address, you need to enter that long address. And when you do that, um, it adds a, three values to the hex value. So when I click 32-bit to 64-bit, it adds three values, and then you could add look for 64-bit addresses. Um, so let's do an example here. Uh, okay, let's look at Excel super easy example, right? So I'm going to change my value here to A, B, and C. Okay? So let's show this first. If you look in Cheat Engine, they're all zero values, right? Now, if you enter A, B, C, now you get a value of 41004200043. Um, and those addresses are located at uh, that base address plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, and I believe F. It might be, I believe it's A, C, E, but I could be wrong there. Uh, let's check it out. So, what I'm going to look for is, oh, this is a uh, the object size and it's a value, it should be a value of two bytes, so you're reading two bytes, um, which should return the value like four, one, uh, or it should just re return four. Four bytes would return four, one, I believe. Um, so, okay, so we're going to read A, and I believe that's right. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then A. Well, let's find out. So we'll lock that in. It locks everything up, and so you don't can't change any values. Oh, and another thing is if you add um, some crazy character number, like like you know crazy stuff. And it'll just return that value to zero, uh, which is pretty cool. But anyways, okay, so let's read uh, A, C, and E uh, plus the base address. So I get a value of A, B, C, right? Makes sense. Um, yeah, so that is 10 would be, so this would be your base address. This would be 1. This would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This would be A at 41. This would be C uh, at 42. And this would be A, B, C, D, E. Uh, F would be E5. So yeah, that should be correct. So now, say I wanted to read this value up at 73. Uh, or at uh, uh, this address, one up uh, and one, uh, two values over. So I would need to go, if my E is 43, then this is uh, F, so that's E, F, uh, I believe it goes to one, zero, then one, one, then one two. So I should add a value of one two to get that value at seventy three. So let's do that. 
So we'll enable our fourth one and we'll add a value of 12. And let's see what we get. So return to S. And that's exactly what it is. So if you look here, um, 73, and look to the right of it, there's S, right? Now if we wanted to look for 64, um, that would be D, right? So we just add, that's 12, 13, 14. So let's look at our, let's look at a 14 one. Uh, we'll add a value of 14. And D, perfect, right? Now, let's try and change each of those values to something else. Um, currently, I can only write one value for each of those offsets. In the future, there will be added, there'll be an option to add uh, a different value to each one of those uh, offsets. But for now, purposes, we are going to write, um, let's write a value of just P. So it's going to change all those to P. Well, it should anyways, theoretically. And let's go. Okay, so it did change each one of those values to P. Um, we got a P, a P, yeah. Every one of these values had have were just changed to P. Um, so, what does that mean? <laughs> well, um, if we go back to Excel here, um, we should get a value of PPP. And then there should be another value of P, but I don't think it actually writes. It's writing somewhere else for these other values. Uh, probably not a good idea to write on those values if I don't know where they're writing to. But regardless, um, the values that are shown are the uh, values at uh, E0, E2, and E4, which this address uh, writes to. So again, if I wrote 1, 2, 3 here, it should show up 1, 2, 3 on this side. So um, let's change, let's get rid of the, the 2 on the bottom that I don't know what, where they're writing from. And instead of a P, let's write, uh, let's write 8, right? So we'll lock that in, we'll write it. Boom, we just changed it to 8 here, right? 888. And we'll go back to Excel. And those values change to 888. So, yeah. Um, that is my program that I've written uh, in a total of uh, one week? Probably one and a half weeks, to be fair. And I have AutoIt. I've used AutoIt. Um, I've written, I know a little bit of that code, but uh, it doesn't even compare, well, yeah, I, I would say it doesn't even compare to C Sharp. C Sharp is like totally different. But uh, that is my example of uh, my program that I've written. Um, and I'm probably going to add more to it. And as I mentioned before, more writability options for each dress or offset. Um, I don't know. Just do more to it, I suppose. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed.